Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to take apart a headlight lens without using your home oven. I'm not allowed to use the oven for anything except food. So instead, what I'm going to use is a homemade, I guess you could call it oven. It's just a cardboard box with a heat gun in it. I'll get more into how I set this up, but just give you an idea, here's everything you're going to need. Got some gloves for when the lenses are hot, flathead screwdrivers for prying the lenses open, pliers and some of these plastic clamps for clamping down the headlight lens to re-glue it. So some reasons you might consider removing your headlight lens from your headlight is because you want to clean the inside. I made a bunch of videos on cleaning the outside. Just apply that to cleaning the inside. I've had a lot of questions of how to clean the inside, so here you go. You just got to separate them and clean them and then put them back together. Another reason, you might be doing a retrofit for a projector lens. So you need to get inside here. You might want to spray paint these or something. Might want to put some LEDs on the inside for running lights. There's a bunch of reasons. And one of the reasons I'm separating my fog light lenses for my truck, I have mud all inside my fog light lenses. So I'm going to show you how to separate them so that you could clean them out if you want. I've seen some people just use a heat gun and they just go along the edges like this and they heat up an edge and then pry that apart and heat up another edge and pry that apart. But I don't really recommend this method. I really find that using a box is a lot more consistent. You consistently heat up the headlight. You're not putting direct heat onto the lens which could damage the plastic. The best method that you could use to separate a headlight or fog light lens is the home oven. You know, you set the timer, you set the temperature, everything's perfect for this. If you're gonna use a home oven, make sure you put tin foil or something underneath so that if it does leak glue, it doesn't leak it into your oven. Since I'm not allowed to use the oven for anything except food, sometimes you need to get creative, and that's why I created my box oven. Before I get into how I made my box oven, I have a list of car makes and models in the description with the temperatures at which people have successfully removed the headlight lenses. This isn't a complete list, so if you have a make or model or a temperature to add, comment below and I'll add it to the list. Now for my box oven, you can see the heat gun goes in right there. This is where the headlight sits. It sits facing up, nothing's touching the lens. Right here there's a baffle, so the heat hits the baffle and comes up and over, so there's no direct heat against the lens. If you have any direct heat on the lens, the lens will melt. And on the back here, you can see I have an instant read thermometer. You can just turn it on by pressing that. And what it does is it reads the temperature of the air right next to the headlight. You should also have a fire extinguisher as a safety precaution. I never had any problems, but it's better to be safe than sorry. With the sealed beam headlight in place, we'll close everything and we'll start up our heat gun. The headlight in here is a sealed beam headlight and I'm going to heat the box up to 250 degrees and hold that temperature for 10 minutes. As this temperature is rising, I just want to explain something real quick. If your car isn't on the list in the description and you don't know what temperature to soften the glue at, start at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 minutes and see if it works. If not, increase the soak time first before you try increasing the temperature. I would go 250 for 15 minutes and if that doesn't work, try 270 for 10. Okay, so once the temperature is around 250 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll put the heat gun on low and that'll maintain that 250 degrees. We wanna stay within 10 degrees of the 250 degree mark for 10 minutes. So as we near the 250 mark, we wanna get your glove and your two screwdrivers ready. They're flatheads, one's a skinny one and one's a thick one. 10 minutes has been elapsed. Let's shut that off and we wanna move quickly when we do this. Undo your top here. I'm wearing one glove to handle the headlight. And you're just going to slip your screwdriver in here and then turn it. You want to be careful not to damage the headlight housing, but just work your way around. Once you get a big enough opening, you could fit the screwdriver in like that. And then just run the screwdriver along. Make sure you're not damaging your plastic. See, that's popping open. These headlights are actually pretty difficult. It'll probably be easier for your headlights, hopefully. Okay, and then once you got enough of it open, you could just take this and pry it just like that. Be careful because these headlights are still very hot. There you go. You might need new glue. In this case, I don't think this glue is reusable. This is kind of like that permanent glue. So you're going to have to either use that butyl rubber glue or use some type of sealant. 
when you're putting these back together. I'll show you that on the fog light, but that's how you easily separate them. Now I'm going to take one of my fog lights here. I want to clean out the inside, and I'm going to show you how to separate a fog light lens. Same deal as before, get your fog light lens, lens up, close up your box, and we're going to just turn on the heat gun. We'll get that temperature up to 250 one more time, and then we'll let that sit for 8 to 10 minutes, and I'll show you this method works on fog light lenses as well. Also, this fog light lens uses a different type of glue, so you'll be able to see the difference between the two glues. So it's been about 10 minutes, and we're at 257, close enough to 250. So now we're going to go take out these fog light lenses and pry them apart. Get our fog light out. And then you'll see how, how much easier this fog light is. Just get that in there, turn it, and look at that. This glue is completely different. It's a lot easier. And you don't have to use a lot of prying force or anything. It just pries right open. You can see the glue here is kind of a tacky glue compared to the headlight, which was more of a hard glue. So now just separate this easier to work without gloves and when it's cool enough you could definitely do that. Now you don't want to clean this glue off because you're going to reuse this glue. Those look really clean on the inside there which is good but on the inside here this is all dirt. Before I start cleaning anything what you want to do is you want to make sure the glue isn't hot because you don't want to have sticky glue on your fingers and burning you but just move that glue back onto the edge here because we're going to be reusing this glue and there's plenty of glue here to be reused. Okay, now I'm just going to get some glass cleaner, clean the insides here, and that looks a lot better. Good. The outside is a little dirty, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our lens here, and we're going to just put it on top of the assembly. The glue is still a little warm, but it's not warm enough, but I'm going to just kind of push this in right now. Open up our box, put the fog light in close up the box and we're just going to heat this up for five minutes to ten minutes I think it's only going to take five minutes because that fog light was still pretty warm and then we're going to clamp it together to make sure that there's a solid seal okay this is only five minutes later you might need ten minutes it really depends on how much you let your headlights cool and what you're going to do is grab the lens and also the outside of the assembly and squeeze it together and you want to just do this the whole way around. You just want the whole lens squeezed completely tight. I'm actually not even going to use the paper towel. What I was going to do is I was going to put the paper towel over it like that and then just squeeze. But, want well, to know what? The pliers fits on here nicely and I'm not causing damage to the lens or to the plastic. You want to make sure that you seal this completely. You press it all the way in. You don't want any gaps in there. If you want, you could use new butyl rubber glue, but I had enough here to reuse, and on most headlights and most fog lights, you'll have enough when you take it off, you put it back on, and you could reuse it. So as you let your fog lights or your headlights cool, you want to make sure that the headlight lens or the fog light lens is compressed against the housing. So to do that, you just get these clamps, and you could add more. Right now I have two. I'll add a couple more around the edge. I mean, you can see how close that is there. There's almost no gap, and that's awesome. These things will cool, and you won't have any moisture issues. So there you go. With a heat gun, a box, a few simple tools, you could separate the lens for the fog light or the headlight. You could do whatever you want with them. You could clean them. You could paint them. You could retrofit them, whatever. And then you could put them right back together and seal them up good as new. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Up on the screen are going to be a bunch of how-to videos. To get to them, you can click on the screen, or you can find the links to those videos in the description below, along with the links to the Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages. Check it out. And for the top tip for this video, you can see my headlight right here is all bubbled up. And the reason why that happened is because I used too much direct heat onto the headlight lens. What happened was I was trying to use the heat gun method to try to loosen up the edges here. And when I was using the heat gun method, you could see that little bump right there. Not a big deal. So I stopped using the heat gun method. So then what happened was I made the box. I put the heat gun in. I figured the box was big enough. I turned the heat gun on. And I guess the heat gun, even though it was almost a foot away, 
it was blasting right up onto this and this bubbled up. So top tip, if you're going to use a heat gun or even use the box method, do not allow direct heat onto the headlight. Trust me, I learned from experience. Don't let it happen to you.